Hey guys, James here with TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile. This time I'm going to be showing you my Zhang Hua. She performed exceptionally well with what I played. She's playing a lot of cool things that uh, not every single deck is playing. And uh, one of the cards I was testing out for the fun of it performed so well, it was incredible. So uh, let's get into it. Okay guys, Zhang Hua is a 719 with Air, Void, and Water. We're playing our deck under Void. Uh, I really wanted to play something different. I know a lot of decks play water because you get to play Ice Dragon. A lot of decks uh, can play air because you get to do a bunch of cool combo things and whatnot. Uh, but I chose to play under Void to get a bunch of um, bunch of niche combos and a bunch of um, uh, odd uh, interactions, really. Uh, her two abilities are, are twice per turn after an attack is blocked, yours or your opponent's. You can play a three damage attack from your hand. For free. No check necessary. Uh, so that's really, really good. And then E, twice per turn. Your attack gets stun one. Uh, that's really good because you can do it on offense or defense. So you block, reversal, stun one. Block uh, If they choose to block your reversal or your reversal. Because you're not allowed to play reversal. It doesn't count as one. You can't play a reversal to that attack. But like, if you that reversal gets done one and if they choose to block it you just get to play another attack for free so you just double up on their turn and stun more cards it's just incredibly nuts uh so let's get into the the meat and potatoes my dudes uh for revoke we are a seven hander uh being able to negate things as well as build things for free is so cool it's a zero five with a no block that says um that the that i like i explained uh the respond after your opponent plays an enhance ability cancel it and then first form uh, your foundations get negative one difficulty, basically ignoring this card during the turn you build them. Uh, then this comes down into your staging area face down, building you one extra as well, which is super strong, especially in a seven-hander who likes to attack on your opponent's turn. Uh, we're playing three Kriti Yuga. Uh, I wasn't playing four, mainly because I was playing another asset we'll get to. Um, Kriti Yuga is a one-five with a no-block, unique. E, twice per turn, this attack gets plus two to its stun rating. So you give something stun with Zhang Hua and increase it to stun three, which is incredibly good on its own. And then the other ability is twice per turn. If this attack has a printed damage of three, ready one foundation has not been ready this turn, and that attack is three damage. Super crazy. Turn your three damage attack into six and turn its stun rating into three, just under Zhang Hua, and you get to do that twice per turn and twice per turn on our own character. It is so crazy. It may have won a tournament. <laughs> uh, onto, the other uh, onto the other asset we're playing. Two Manus and Aeus. It's a 1-5 with a no block. First form, you get to shuffle three cards from your discard pile into your deck. And then E, commit. Your opponent chooses one attack in your discard pile. This attack gains all enhanced abilities printed on that card. Um, this is really nuts because of the way I built my deck. Uh, so the idea was uh, to play an attack on my opponent's turn. And then you commit this to give it more enhanced abilities on a card in your discard pile. And then um, some, of the, some of them create super bad situations. That uh, put our opponents in super bad, super terrible situations. One where they have to choose between letting me get a multiple two for free. Or letting me just pick up any attack I want for free. Letting me get super stun five. Or letting me get seal my opponent's character. Letting me get two two to all of my attacks. It was just crazy on the amount of cool things I could do. Just by giving my, by my opponent letting me get more enhances on my attacks. On third turn. Uh, just nuts card. The card that I'm playing that not everyone's going to be playing, but I think they should look into, is Macabre Skir. It's a 5-3, 4 mid for 3, 1 mid block. Fury safe weapon. E, e, remove 1 card from your hand. Get rid of that trash foundation you don't need. Uh, your opponent chooses 1 attack in your discard pile and they add it to your hand. So your opponent gives you an attack. They get to choose. How bad could that be for your opponent? Super bad, let me tell you. Uh, and then if it happens to be a weapon card, your check gets plus, your next check gets plus two. The weird interaction we ran into is, uh, if you play this on your opponent's turn, uh, add a card to your hand. So like, uh, actually, it was on my turn. I think it was when we discovered it. You played this, give yourself a card from your opponent's. Your opponent gives you a card, and then say they block. You play your attack for free. They block that. You play your second attack for free. It doesn't matter what happens to that one. You play your third attack, and since everything is a weapon, or mostly everything's a weapon, we don't have to really worry about anything else. But uh, Macabre Skewer hasn't used this plus two yet, because I played these without making control check. So I played this, 
meaning this one gets my plus two to my check. So I make my check, and then that number gets plus two. It's super nuts, especially when we just playing things for free. Uh, it's just crazy. Especially, uh, like, one of the cool things we can do with Macabre Skier is when we do play it on defense and we stun our opponent and they're not really going to attack us anymore, we can force them to give us an attack we're just going to play next turn. Uh, so, like, eventually you run into chances where, um, like, early game especially. Like, early game super strong if you have Macabre Skier because there's not going to be a – there shouldn't be a whole lot of attacks in your discard pile for them to choose from. So they get stuck with whatever you checked. And, like, if you check Subblade early – Lower Great Wall, another Macabre Scare. You're kind of just funneling into more things that just aren't fun for your opponent. Uh, on to the next text. We're playing four Lower Great Wall. It's a 4-3 stun two combo with a three damage. Everything's a three damage. Um, four mid for three. Uh, combo E, this tech gets three damage, making it a four for six. Uh, has stun two, gets stun one if you need to from your uh, Zheng Hua. Uh, more stun from um, Krita Yuga. Uh, just super strong attack that forces your opponent to either block. And then playing this on defense is also super strong because it's stun two, stun three with Zheng Hua, meaning you block play this, you just stun out your entire your opponent's entire board practically for free. It's just crazy. Uh, four MGH or Mei Gui Ha. Uh, it's a four three, three mid for three with a one low block. Powerful two, safe stun one, weapon. While it's in the card pool, all of your other three damage attacks get plus one, plus one. Uh, and then its ability is E, add one copy of MGH or Megway Hall from your discard pile to your card pool. This is another way to kind of get around Macabre Skier is you MGH, add MGH in. If you're able to play Macabre Skier, not really have to do much. You eliminate the amount of discard uh, amount of attacks in your discard pile for them to choose from, which is also super great. And then just everything getting 2-2 two -two is super crazy. Uh, then, like, if you know you're blocking well in your opponent's turn, you can res you can use her ability Play MGH, add another MGH, giving it plus two, plus two to whatever you're going to block and play next, which is crazy. Uh, then the last attack we're playing that is a weapon is four sublimating blade. It's a four, two, five mid for three with a one high block. Fury, multiple two, safe weapon. Uh, e, you may use attacks with a printed damage of three, which everything is, uh, as uh, in addition to your momentum to pay the cost for its multiple ability, meaning you can multiple two with other attacks you've already played for the turn, which is crazy. And then its other ability is E discard momentum. This attack gains stun three, or you get to commit one of your opponent's found, your opponent's foundations. So either you super stun their board or get rid of a problem card you don't want to have to deal with, which is crazy because most of the time you'll never use the multiple ability. Um, you'll never use your momentum for the multiple ability. You'll always use your card pool which means that momentum is just going to be used for this bottom enhance, which means you don't have to worry about building too many of it because you don't use it for a whole lot. And uh, then the last tech we play is two ice ball. Uh, it is a four, three, three mid for three with a two mid block range stun one. E if this deck is not blocked, seal your opponent's character and commit it. Um, this card's really fun on defense because you respond reversal, stun one, stun one with Zhang Hua, uh, use the ability that you're going to seal and commit their character. A lot of players don't want their character sealed or committed on their turn because they're trying to do their cool things. So they'll block it, which just means if you have an attack in hand, you just get to play another one for free. It doesn't have to be an ice ball, but you need to play another attack for free just because your opponent doesn't want their character sealed, which means you get another instance of Zhang Hua's stun one, as well as whatever else your attack does. It's super crazy. Uh, on to the foundations. We're playing one quest for the hero sword. Uh, I had to cut some three diffs just because I was playing a lot of it. Uh, it's a three four with a three high block. E commit add uh, E commit flip add one attack with a printed damage of three from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, this card just says pick up cool attack to kill you with. Pick cool attack pick up cool attack to reversal on your opponent's turn with. Uh, just pick up cool attack to do whatever you want. Uh, it's a really cool card. On to our other foundation our other three diff. Solar powered. Uh, this card is uh, really neat. It's really niche. I was trying to do some cool stuff with it with this deck. I like the direction it was going, uh, but there's certain changes I would still make. Uh, it's a three five with a three mid block. Uh, e your mid attack gets plus one damage. Everything's a mid in this deck, so all of our attacks are getting plus one damage for free, and that's really what I wanted. I wanted a reversal, give free stats, make our opponent have to deal with it, as well as just stunning. Meaning that if they didn't deal with it, they took a lot of damage. And if they did, I still stunned them and they still had to deal with that one attack. 
And then the other ability is form, destroy, look at the top card of your deck, add it to your hand or your momentum, which means you can look at the top card. If you want that attack or whatever else it is in your hand, you add it to your hand. If not, add it to your momentum. You'll use it later for like your sub main blade, your powerful two, whatnot. But it's still there. And uh, mainly we want to use this for the plus damage anyways. That's just in case we want to try and draw one more attack. Or we need to draw that one more attack. It's just there for us. Uh, we're playing three Outworlds Errors. It's a 2-5 with a 2 low block. Uh, we mainly use this for its first ability, R, Remove, Lose X Vitality. Add one Asset or Foundation from our opponent's staging area to their hand. X equals the, difficulty of, uh, the printed difficulty of that foundation. Uh, you can choose after paying, so like you could choose three, and then your opponent decides to use an ability on three that like removes it from your card pool. I guess you would actually lose the thing on that. That's pretty neat. Uh, that's something I'll have to cover in another video. But just being, basically being able to get rid of problem cards you don't want to have to deal with is super nuts. Uh, three, reporting is failures. It's a two, five with a three mid block. E, remove if you have one or fewer attacks in your discard pile. Draw two cards. This came up once playing this character just by chance. Uh, it didn't help me any, but if it if I did draw a cool attack, it was going to be super sick. Uh, but the ability that really works out is E-Flip. Add up to three cards from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck. Uh, we're trying to kind of abuse Maeus and a Manus and Aeus. Uh, and to do that, we kind of have to have less attacks in our discard pile, which means putting them into the bottom of your deck is really what we want. We don't want to see those attacks in our discard pile. We want to draw them. Or put them back into our deck, which is uh, which is pretty neat when Maeus and Aeus gets to do his cool things. Next, we're playing three Dragon Goddess. It's a two five of the three high block. Uh, we're mainly playing this for your E. Your mid attack gets plus one speed. We really want our attacks to go through or make our opponent really have to work for them. Uh, and then the bottom enhances E. Commit your opponent reveals one card, one random card in their hand. Uh, if it has a mid block, they discard and draw a card. Uh, funny enough. This card came in handy in one of our matches. It was super sick. You'll have to check it out. Uh, we're playing three Freezing the City. It's a 2-5 with a 2 mid block. E, your stun attack gets plus one damage. Uh, some of our attacks don't have stun. Who cares? Zheng Hua gives stun. And then Freezing the City gives damage. And then we can flip this to uh, seal one of their ready foundations. So those cool cards they were trying to keep up so they can do cool, more cool things, we just turn it off. And we just don't have to deal with it. We're playing four Maternal Swordsmanship. It's a 2-5 with a 3 mid-block. E-Flip, ready one foundation has not been ready this turn. Your, printed, your attack with a printed damage of 3 gets plus 2 speed or plus 2 damage, which is pretty sick. And then we get to ready something as well, which is just nuts. Uh, next, we're playing one Imperial Guard. It's a 2-5 with a no-block. Uh, remove, ready one foundation. After your opponent's unblocked attack resolves, you may attempt to play an attack with a printed damage of three from your hand. Um, so this card works really well with sometimes you don't get to uh, draw all of your, you don't get to block really well or you fail a block. Uh, this just lets you still play that, uh, that attack as a reversal or a reversal. Uh, so like you uh, face tank something and then you play an attack and do a cool thing. Uh, one of the cool things, you have to check it out because I thought it was really sick was I face tanked, lived at one, used this ability to play a sub blade for on like a six, passed it and had the multiple two to go out on the thing as well. It was just such a nuts play that like I won in a billion chance, not like one in a billion, but like one in a hundred chance that like it happens. So I definitely checked that out. It was really neat uh, because we do want to block so we can play things for, so we can play our reversals or a reversals. Uh, Fei Fei, it's a one five with a three low block that says E flip. This attack gets minus three speed. Crazy, crazy, crazy ability that just lets us, that basically enables us to just play cards for free. Uh, for Immortal Knowledge, we are a small girl. We are a small, small girl. It's uh, it's a one five with a three mid block. Like I said, we're a small girl. Uh, we either want, we really don't want to take a lot of damage. So if we're not going to be playing a bunch of reversals or we don't want to stack a bunch of damage on reversals, uh, giving plus one or minus one damage to an attack is great. We'll give minus one damage to their attacks. Uh, the, it's only playable once per turn, so you have to pick and choose. If you're going to block everything, you don't need to give minus one. Give plus one to your attacks. But if you kind of have to face tank something, giving minus one's not too bad, you know? Uh, again, more to blocking. Uh, three, Conquest of Terror. It's a one, five of the two, low block. 
E commit if your opponent is at desperation. This attack is plus two or minus four speed. And then E flip, this attack is minus two speed. Uh, we really just need to block because that's how we, that's how our character does her cool things. We block cards, play things for free. Uh, so blocking is what we want. On to our final two cards or final two sets of cards. Uh, two desperate for redemption. It's a one five of the three mid block. After this card is added to our staging area, we get to add one other foundation to our hand. Uh, I was mainly trying to use this to try and pick up things when we flip it. Fey Fey, Imperial Guard, uh, Imperial Guard removes, Maternal Swordsmanship. Just getting the chance to like reuse certain abilities was really what I wanted. Uh, it never really got used that much. And then the other ability is E commit, unflip one foundation. Your attack is two damage. Your opponent may flip one foundation to cancel. Um, I never really used the ability. I never really cared for it. It was mainly to pick up cool cards to block with as well. Uh, but we never really got to a point where we really needed it. It probably should have just became something else. And then the last card is two Winter Rose. It's a 0-6 with a two low block. Uh, it can't be flipped due to our opponent's effects. And then if one of our cards would be flipped due to our opponent's effects, we gain a vitality as afterwards, which means we kind of just increase our health as much as possible. Like I said, we are a small person, so um, living as long as possible is so good for us. Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. Let me know what you think of my cool te my cool text and whatnot for my Zhang Hua deck down below. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. Uh, make sure if you want to check out the videos, I would greatly appreciate it. Go to youtube.com slash TCG University as well. Uh, check us out on Facebook at TCG University as well, guys. And stay learned.